Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. Hello everybody. You know it seems that every time I turn around, someone is asking the question, why do I see you using open face spinning equipment sometimes and other times you're using bait casting gear when you're bass fishing? Well, that's a good question and it has several good answers. For instance, water clarity, size, weight, type of lure, type of terrain, and water temperature all can figure in to dictate my choice of equipment. Today, I've decided to use open face spinning. So, with that said, let's go use it. There's no doubt both types of gear have their time and place. All of the factors mentioned don't all come into play every time. Sometimes it can be only a couple. Like I said, I've decided to go with open face spinning and I'd like to devote this show to using this popular form of tackle. He's going to Texas. It's a good Nice one. That is a nice one. I barely got him hooked, too. Easy does it, Bill. Take your time with him. Got him with that stinger hook right in the corner of the mouth. Don't horse him. My granddaddy used to say, don't horse that fish, boy. Oh, I barely got him hooked. That's where that little trailer hook just holding. He's a dandy, too. Little bitty hook. That's what got you. That little cheater hook. Look at that. Isn't that a pretty one? Nice. Boy, I tell you what, that drag system on that reel really paid off. I can tell you. See ya. Bye-bye. There are advantages and disadvantages to both types. Which outfits you use, well, that's your personal choice. I'd say you're gonna be a lot more accurate with bait casting because your thumb is in control. However, when you use this equipment, your reel always needs to be adjusted for changes in lure weights, wind, speed and direction. Now many anglers find these things a little bit difficult to master. Now here's something to think about. I've often seen times when the sink rate and action of a 16th to 18th ounce jig made all the difference in catching or not catching fish. Just using a shade heavier jig like a 3 16th or quarter ounce would not produce a strike. Now can you imagine how difficult it would be using a bait casting rod and reel with 14 pound test line fishing an 8 ounce jig in 15 feet of water with a 15 mile an hour wind blowing? Well, <laughs> I'll be the first to tell you, it'd be a nightmare or next to impossible unless you switch to open face spinning. Now the reason I'm telling you all this is because there will always be a time and a place for open face spinning and it will allow you to fish many different lures and use different techniques that will result in a productive trip.
Kids Outdoors. Sponsored by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. And by Mercury Marine, go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development. Come experience the kind of beauty that can only be made in Tennessee. Go online today for your free Tennessee vacation guide. swing you. I got you. I got you. Look at you and your little fat self. Calm down. There we go. See you, buddy. Okay, let's talk about spinning rods for bass for just a minute, okay? You know, of all the different lengths and actions available, the best overall seems to be a six foot 10 in a medium to a medium heavy action. Now this one is made by the Quantum folks and it's called a Bill Dance Exclusive and it's so sensitive you could feel a minnow tapping on it. It's made of IM6 high strain graphite and offers micro guides which increases the sensitivity because the line is positioned lower on the blanks and it increases casting distance simply because there's less line slap on the inserts. And guess what? It weighs less than four ounces. A long length and a medium action improves casting distance and better overall performance with lightweight lures. It also casts much easier and more accurately. Also, a medium action rod will help prevent the angler from pulling the lure from the fish's mouth. Using too stiff a rod can and will sometimes affect your casting control and presentation, and it has a tendency to tear small hooks out of the fish's mouth. Medium actions also have more give, but like today, we're using a 3 8 ounce bait and I'm having pretty good success using a medium heavy action. This is something you just need to experiment with. Where you? Wow. Hello. Strong. Strong fish. Just fell out. Another old fatty. Another old fatty. Yes, you are. Now for the other part of this equipment. The reel. Believe this, all reels are not created equal. Another important thing buy name brands. You normally have quick service for any repairs, plus parts are much easier to obtain. Now, as for quality, this speaks for itself. Purchase reels with multi bearings. They're gonna perform better and they're gonna last longer. The more bearings, the better. A smooth drag system will allow you to use lighter lines, which prevent line breakage while fighting fish that make quick surges speed during the retrieve. Narrow spools hold less line and they flip out more coils per yards during each cast. Think about long cast spools. They make a major difference.
Today's show is brought to you by Quantum Rods and Reels, Quantum Performance Tuned, Pure Marine Odor Eliminator, eliminates foul fish odors from gear, compartments, and empty live wells, and Tracker Boats, fish the finest. Today's show is sponsored by Monster Marine Lithium, lighter, stronger, longer, Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. We have an action for you. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Today's equipment log is brought to you by Gamakatsu. Because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Got another big one. Oh boy, I gotta come back. Gotta come back to the to the landing spot. Some big hard pulling brush with you. There it goes again. Nosing it. Ooh <laughs> you, saw, you saw my hand, didn't you? Yes, you did. Come here. Got you, baby. Look at that big fat bass. Big fat, fat as I am. All right, buddy. See ya. Let me show you something. When you cast with one of these, always stop the lure by touching your index fingertip to the spool. This does two important things. It takes the slack and twist out of your line and puts the lure in the proper landing mode. And it keeps those confounded loops from forming in the spool. One thing you never want to do is stop the lure by cranking the reel. If you do, more often than not, you'll end up spending more time trying to remove the twist from your line than actually fishing. Now this is the particular bait we're fishing with. It's Bass Pro Shops Enticer Swimming Jig. And let me tell you, it is one fine little bait. It's got unbelievable swimming action. It's got a premium silicone skirt. It's got an EWG hook that can be exchanged. You can go to a larger hook if you prefer, or a smaller hook. But what really makes this bait really shine is a unique blade that's on it. It's got a ticking type vibration. It doesn't thump, it just ticks. And fish are really attracted to it in a mighty big way. But it's called a Shutterlicious. It's available in a 3 8 and a half ounce size. Check one out, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. It's available in several different fish catching colors. Oh. Nice one. That thing right at the boat. I wasn't far from lifting the bait out of the water and he boom. Hey baby. What you gonna do? Uh, yeah, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Stay off the trolling motor. I have to take you to the back. Just fell out. 
another nice big old fatty okay you were nice to me I will be nice to you the Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week, brought to you by Bill Dance Exclusive Rods by Quantum. Whether you're fishing for panfish, bass, catfish, or light saltwater, we have the action for you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Is there a set time for free spawn bass? Bass activity is determined by weather, which is unpredictable. Weather patterns control water temperatures, which determines bass activity. Sometimes spring is early, sometimes it's late. It can vary by regions of the country and even regions of a reservoir. But don't sweat the variables. See it as a challenge, not a frustration. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And by Garmin Force Trolling Motors, fish with force. Closed caption provided by PowerPole, the original shallow water anchor. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, Shark Plotter Sonar Combos, with their advanced sonar technology, like Panoptic's Live Scope All Seeing Sonar. You'll spend less time finding your fish. You know what I really love about bass fishing is a multitude of ways you can fish for them. From wading a creek, walking a pond bank, fishing in a sleek 21 foot bass boat, or even how I first got started long ago casting from a small John boat. Today, I still enjoy my little 14-foot tracker, and it's just as much fun now as it was way back then. Come be part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. The key is to try to parallel it. If I sit way out from it, I'm only covering a small percentage of it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. When I sit and I can throw right down the edge of it, I'm covering 100% of it. When I sit out from it and throw straight into it, I'm only covering about 5% of it. So as I bring that bait out, where the bait hits, it hits, and so about 95% of my cast is basically wasted. Sure, I may catch a fish from the edge, bringing it all the way out, but most of the fish are right on the edge of that cover. So when I get my boat in right on the edge and I parallel it and throw right down the edge of it, I'm covering almost 100% of the cast. All right, I tell you what, let's talk about line for a minute. Now, the most popular line test for this outfit ranges from six to 12 pound test. The weight of your line depends on the weight of your lure, the cover you're fishing, and often the size of the fish. Using a line test that's too heavy can affect your accuracy and distance. And a heavy line has a tendency to ride up in the water severely limiting your fishing depth. And it can also adversely affect the action of some smaller lures. Talking about line, here's another tip that will help eliminate line twist. Never crank against the drag while fighting a fish. What this does, it causes line twist. Example, this quantum reel that I'm using today, the ratio is a 6.1 to 1. If I've got a fish on and he's stripping line, I'll say that again. If he's stripping line and I make one revolution of the handle, what's happened here, I've put six twist in the line. If I make two revolutions, I put 12 twists in the line. So don't turn the handle. Let him just pull the line. Let him strip. If you want to slow him down, just take your index finger and put a little pressure on the side of the spool. Or reach up and increase your drag. But don't turn the handle because you're putting twist in your line if you do that. Boy, I mean, those good ones hit it. They'll get you up out of your chair. Look here, there he goes. Come on back around, come on back. You 
you through. Huh? I don't want to come back here and get you. Oh, you're strong. There you go, back, back down again. All right, come up here. Come up here. That big old, I don't throw that big mouth. Easy now. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Oh. I know that you, you're scared, and I'm not going to keep you, keep you from getting scared. Get that big dandy. Oh, we had a good day on big fish. Yes, we have. Woo! Okay. See ya. Well, there'll always be a time and a place for this type of equipment. Maybe not today, tomorrow, or next week, but someday. I hope some of the information we've spun your way will be helpful sometime. Now, speaking of that time and place, well, it's time for us to get out of here. And as far as the place, that's home for supper. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. No, I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.